This is a quick tutorial on creating and using custom cone objects as point locators. They are commonly used for evaluating fine point tracking in match moves of cameras and objects. But they are also useful for pointing to specific locations on object edges or faces or points in space, or used for snap to objects. To create the cone object, press Shift A or select Add Menu Mesh Cone. Open the Properties menu at the bottom left of the viewport and edit the parameters. Vertices 4, Radius 1, 0, Radius 2, 0.04, Depth, 0.2, Base Fill Type, N Gone, Generate UVs Off, and Location Z, 0 0.1. Next, in the Object menu, select Apply Location to set the object origin at the bottom point vertex. This defines the mesh origin and object location and is the pivot point for rotation and scaling. A square top with four vertices is sufficient to maintain the visual appearance of the cone at any viewing angle and reduce the visual clutter of unnecessary geometry. To make more cones, Press Shift-D to duplicate, then move them apart. To make linked duplicates that can be resized or edited from a single linked member, press Alt-D. Linked duplicates share the same mesh data, so editing the mesh of one changes all the other linked copies. If you want lots of evenly distributed duplicates, create a grid object and set the X and Y subdivisions to the number of cones you want in either direction. So, if you want 20 cones in 4 rows of 5, enter 4 in X and 5 in Y, then the size of the grid. To duplicate on the vertices, the number of duplicates is X times Y. To duplicate on the faces, the number of duplicates is X minus 1 times Y minus 1. Parent the cone to the grid by selecting the cone, then shift select the grid and press Ctrl P object. In the grid object properties, open the instancing section and choose verts. The cone will be duplicated at every vertex on the grid. Choose faces to duplicate on the grid faces. These are not yet individual objects and cannot be moved around except by moving the original source cone. To create individual instances, select the grid, then object menu, apply, Make Instances Real. Now you can move each new cone wherever you want, but they are still linked geometry, so editing the mesh of one changes all the others. To unlink any cone from the others, select the cones you want to unlink and choose Object Relations, Make Single User Object and Data, and then Selected Objects. Now notice in the outliner the object mesh data is named differently than in the linked cones, and its geometry can be edited without affecting the others. To group the cones in a separate collection, select all the cones and press the M key, New Collection, and name it Marker Cones. Instancing can be done on any mesh object, but the alignment to vertices is not so predictable or desirable. Use the snapping tools to locate the markers on other geometry. Press Shift-Tab to toggle on the snapping tools. In the Snap Options, choose Vertex, Edge, or Face, and choose Effect Move to affect location snapping. Choose Center to snap the cone origin point to the object, and make sure the pivot option is set to individual origins. To orient the cone in the direction of the snapping elements normal, turn on Align Rotation to Target. To snap to curves, the curve must be converted to a mesh object. In the Object menu, select Convert to Mesh from Curve.